It might be a way, aware of ways to steer clear of online scams, but what about your kids? Children are increasingly becoming the preferred target of cyber criminals, and national consumer correspondent Usher Karashi reports what kids don't know could put their future, even their finances, at risk. The kids at this computer summer camp outside Chicago are definitely having fun. But the lessons they're learning are serious. What should you do if you think your account has been hacked? They're playing a game that teaches them how to spot online fraud. What is the best way to protect yourself from scammer emails? I got it, I got it, I got it. Kids are basically being born with an iPad or a phone in their hands. And for them to understand how to become part of a connected society. The University of Chicago's Marshani Chetty designed the CyberNot app to help them become cyber safe so that we're not just throwing them in a pool with sharks. We're trying to get them comfortable with the pool before there are any sharks in the water. FBI data shows money lost from online crimes against children more than tripled from about a half million dollars in 2022 to two million dollars last year. That's why Chetty thinks cybersecurity education should begin as early as kindergarten. And she says teachers need better training too. Like they'll say to a kid, well, here's your password, it's got a class number, your personal name, mm -hmm. like personally identifiable information, and they'll put in a little card right. and give it to them to give to their parents. And, then and so that's the their first it. experience with the password is exactly. it's written down, you, write you, can, it down. you can give it to it other people. It has your personal information. Yeah. And then a few years later, we're like, don't, don't ever do that. that. <laughs> do not do that. It's okay. a very bad idea. So wow. that's why it's important to start these lessons early, because otherwise you get this poor security hygiene, and it's really hard to undo. Lessons like a zero trust approach online, which includes avoiding malicious links, attachments, and downloads, usually from emails and texts. Also strong passwords. For parents and school districts, keeping software updated, installing security patches, and using good antivirus protections. There are circumstances where compromised student accounts have led to significant disruptions and issues in schools. Kids at school are increasingly vulnerable to another kind of cybercrime, one aimed at taking down their entire school system. Your children's digital identities were compromised. Everything on my children, their doctor's information, their bus stop information, if they walk to and from school, what bus stop they go to, their medical records, where we live, where we work, every bit of information about our lives, they have. And coming up on the CBS Evening News, Usher looks into how cyber terrorists from overseas are now targeting elementary, middle, and high schools nationwide, and why administrators are struggling to deal with the security threat. That's tonight on Eye on America.